This is a 60-year-old with a diagnosis of piriformis syndrome here today for an endoscopic piriformis release and sciatic neurolysis. He's had an extensive workup. Spine workup ruled out the spine. Intraarticular injection in the hip did not take away any of his pain, thus ruling out the hip as a source of pain. And a piriformis injection temporarily took away all of his pain, confirming the diagnosis. We've tracked the sciatic nerve going superiorly. Again, looking for any scar tissue that may be impinging upon it. This, see that band over the sciatic nerve? That can cause impingement on the sciatic nerve. So working our way through that fibrovascular band that was a potential source of impingement on the sciatic nerve. So there we can get to see the tendon of the piriformis. And at this point, at the musculotendinous junction, that's where we're going to do our release. Okay, we put a little bit of tension on it. And here we do our lengthening of the piriformis at the musculotendinous junction.